Industry under contract through the 2019 season, which means probably time to start talking another extension. And consider, when Rodgers signed his deal in 2013, the salary cap was much lower. And as a result, Rodgers' per year average of $22 million now ranks fifth in the league among quarterbacks. When it comes to setting the, uh, the market values, uh, I let that stuff take care of itself. I know my value uh, in this league, and I know that the team appreciates me. I'm going to try and continue to make myself, uh, um, you know, an indispensable part of this roster. When you do that, when your time comes up to get a contract, you usually get a contract extension. As you get longer in your career, you've seen other guys like Tom have to do this, where you take discount rates to kind of keep things competitive so you can continually, you know, compete for the ring. Mm, I think you... I think you know you forget that Tom has Giselle for one, <laughs> <laughs> and two. We're about twenty million under the cap as usual, yeah. so we have plenty of room. Yeah. Um, but obviously, you know, we signed the last deal knowing that it was a good deal for both sides. I mean, uh, if you look at uh, some of their cap numbers around the league with guys who signed in similar time periods, um, the percentage of the cap was uh, notably higher than uh, than my deal. So. Yeah, obviously you keep that in mind. NFL Nation's Rob Domofsky is with the Packers for OTAs. Rob, bring us up to date on where things stand for Rodgers. Well, all that, Susie, that was laid out with his contract is all true, and, and that the fact that he's under contract through 2019 would make it seem like it's not very urgent. But here's why an extension could happen sooner rather than later. Yes, he's 33 years old, but as we saw in the second half of last season, he's at the top of his game when he was playing at a near – MVP level. He's also said many times that he wants to play into his late 30s and possibly even 40, replicating what Tom Brady has done. And remember last year, Susie, he told us that he revamped his diet. Remember, he eliminated cheese and other dairy products, and it was all done toward extending his career. Now, yesterday at OTAs, I asked him what he's going to do between the end of OTAs and the start of training camp in late July. And I want to read you this quote because I thought it was telling about where he's at in his career. He said, as you get older, summer is a lot less of a, va of a vacation and more of a training period by yourself. It's tougher when you get older and you have to dedicate more time to staying in shape. Now, earlier this offseason, I asked Coach Mike McCarthy if he thought Rodgers could replicate what Brady has done into his late 30s. And McCarthy told me I wouldn't be surprised because his conditioning is off the charts. Mm, so much of it has to do with the food and the conditioning. Thank you. It's Rob Domofsky with the latest on Aaron Rodgers. Now, here are the four quarterbacks currently signed to more lucrative contracts than Rodgers, including Drew Brees and Kirk Cousins, who will both be free agents next year looking to get paid even more. And with Rodgers' contract running through 2019, several more players 